have a look? Yes. Okay. That's good. It's an, like an Ives triple colour. Yeah. Very, it's very like, early colour. It's like an Ive. Homemade, yes. It's a one off. Oh. And it's later than that, yeah. So there we are. I finished the temporary wiring. Very temporary. Of the three lamps. Which, as you can see, are working together with the three fans. Uh, that fan will eventually be back here somewhere, not fitted yet. But um, lots of light there, that's for sure. Now I have to work out whether this will slide under this ridge uh, so it goes properly inside the lantern. If that's all okay, then I can fix this final fan in place. Um, I'm going to use these ceramic joining blocks in places and elsewhere do some soldering. So a little bit of work to do, but we're close to having the lamps fitted. Third fan's now fitted and it does all fit inside. So now to tidy up the wiring. So the unit's uh, in there now with the three lamps and the wiring tidied up somewhat. I've added an earth as well. Um, this is safe but still temporary. There's a ceramic block coming to fit inside so um, but it's working. Now I started to try to line up the images on the screen um, and there was you know I was starting to get a result but quite difficult because the lenses were actually pretty much almost locked absolutely solid into those tubes after so many years. Uh, take the fittings off with the lenses and then with some uh, easing oil get them out and then put some grease on. In fact I've only done that one so far so the other two are about to follow and testing with this one um, getting a nice sharp image on the screen. So it can focus okay. I'm hoping that the lineup will be okay from what I can see it is. But I've removed the colour filters from inside. Colour filters um, that go in there and I've blanked off with cardboard two of the lenses so that I can just focus one. And then when I get the other lenses back in the tube so I can move them, um, I'll do each one in turn until we've got three usable images on the screen. Then we'll see what happens when we superimpose them. Put the colour filters back. So the three fans are rather noisy, but that doesn't matter. None of this is being used, of course, the old resistances. So here we are. These two are blanked off, so we've just got, oh, slightly, almost blanked off. Uh, we've just got one, which I will now project an image with. There she is. Try and clear some of the clutter in here so that we can get the image fully on the screen. But you can see that that's, that's pretty good as the first black and white image. So we need to get three of those, superimpose them and then put the filters back. That's the plan. Now at the moment that's totally, that barrel is totally stuck in there, can't move it at all. So I'm now going to deal with that. Plus gas. Now that's moving. Just took two minutes with the plus gas and now I have to lubricate with some silicon grease to make that even freer. A little sachet of silicon grease which will last me for about 100 years. Just get some of that here. And then
around there, all the way around both sides. Should do it. There we are. Perfect, totally free now. So I can focus anywhere. There is a little thing here which should have a screw in which sort of tightens the end of that collar. The screw's missing but the other two lenses do have the screw still in. So when I finally got the focus I'll find a little screw for that and do them all up tight. I will have aligned it for that distance that will make it much easier in the future to get an image out of the projector with lots of setting up. But I'm happy with that. Okay well all three images are now being projected superimpose just roughly and you can see we've got lots of uh, lining up to do let's have a look so that's the first image that we saw previously that's the third one and that's the center one so individually they're okay just need to do some lining up now. When I say just, it could be difficult. Let's see what happens. It seems that the main problem that I have is I need to move this left hand image. You can see, see it moving about there. I need to move it to the left, up further to the left. See, it's on the right there. Now, if you can see, it needs to go to the left. But it won't go far enough to the left. And um, I'll explain why. These two outside lenses have um, mounted on a board and they can move and they have a little uh, knob on it only thing is that one's got the tightening thing missing now this one will move over pretty much to where we want it to be and this one won't go far enough it needs to go a bit further and you think okay well I'll just take that board out and make that hole slightly bigger that slot and the problem is getting this out. Uh, obviously you can't slide it because that's in the way. And when you go inside, I'll show you what you find. So this is the board that we want to slide off and we can't because of that screw. When you go inside, there's this huge screw. Same the other side. And I've taken this one out. Obviously, presumably it just acts as a stop for that thing. There doesn't seem to be a screw head on the other side of that extending bolt. So when you take this out, there's a hole there, a long hole. Um, but I can't see how to get in there to remove this bolt. So I'm going to play around with it again, see if I can be more successful. Otherwise we're a bit stuck. Well, with a bit of fiddling, um, we're almost there, I think. That's the green one. That's the green and blue together. That's the blue on its own. Green and blue together. Green, blue and red together. There she is. My autofocus isn't too happy, but the picture on the screen is pretty good actually. I do have to fiddle around to work out how to do some of the uh, lining up adjustments better, but so it works. And in the end, I just drilled a little bit extra there and um, that now slides across sufficiently to line up the other side this one is going round and round so it's stuck on its screw and I've got to see if I can deal with that so those two adjustment screws need sorting out very very difficult to, to uh, remove them from inside don't know quite what I'm going to do this knob here actually um, moves this whole slide holder up and down against the spring as you turn it so you can 
move this slide sort of that way a little bit get some lining up you can see there that that's moving down and now up so there is some adjustment there and this does something very strange see those pins coming across they actually push against the slide to make sure it's upright a bit frightening being as it's a single sheet of thin glass without a cover plate cover glass anyway that's what it does and you do need to very carefully adjust that to keep the slide upright that's their house presumably a little bit of colour fringing as I say I need to check out what other adjustments can be made it's pretty dark on the screen we certainly needed those 100 watt LEDs rather than the 50 watts so that was a good decision so there he is probably the man who made the machine and I'm sure he was very proud of his handiwork as indeed he should have been you can see how the tone varies if you look at his jacket dark, medium and light to correspond with the colour information I think we can assume that that's probably the man who made the machine unless it was his wife or whoever the lady was in the other picture but uh, being the 1930s it's not unreasonable to suggest perhaps that it was him just playing around a little here because obviously we've got some colour fringing just realised that we're actually only looking at two pictures <laughs> the slide hasn't gone all the way in and we're not seeing any blue let's get that sorted out yeah he looks healthier now definitely needs the red realigning with his pipe of course I think it must have been the law in those days that men who played around with mechanical workshop things and optical things and amateur engineering perhaps he wasn't an amateur perhaps he was a professional and this was something he did as an experiment anyway got to have your pipe I bet he read Practical Mechanics we can see the green above the eyes and the ear there we can remove that his face looks better but we're getting some problems with the collar get the collar right and the face is wrong I'm going to settle for the face I think until I get a bit more expert at this anyway well done mate whoever you were so I'll leave it there for now I think obviously we're going to succeed but I do need to master the um, lining up controls such as they are uh, and we're uh, going to need to be a few little changes made but um wow it actually looks better on the video i have to admit than it does on the screen in real life the um automatic exposure system is dealing with the low light levels so uh, do some playing around clean all the lenses and maybe get back with another short video well, I've got some plans for this projector for the future. We shall see.